all welcome back to our channel so in this video we are going to discuss about the english subject which you are having in your tomorrow's examination many of the students are having a uh, doubt regarding this subject about the uh, film review and the book review and some of the students are having a uh, doubt in part a also so like this in this video we will discuss about the quick revision of this subject whether you will get a uh, full clarity about the subject for the tomorrow's examination okay previously i have already done a presentation video here i will not at all discuss any presentation tips and tricks you should watch that video just i will tell you about the uh, a quick revision about this english subject uh, to score good marks and to score nice marks okay so coming back to the topic uh, how many summaries you need to do how many lessons you are having how many units you are having what are the grammar topics you are having everything we will discuss now better you will have a quick revision about this you will have basically three units students as i have already said in unit number 1 poem prose vocabulary and grammar in unit number 2 poem prose vocabulary and grammar will be there for the common sake and from unit number 1 you are having two uh, poem and prose one poem and one prose a uh, poem is from ecology and the prose is uh, what's the language of the future so you should learn the ecology summary I mean, so what that uh, in that lesson what you are learning what is the meaning of that lesson everything what is the story of that lesson you need to learn about that summary and the second is the what's the language of the future it was written by henry hitchings you need to explain about the author and what is meant him uh, about the future language future language basically it will be on english language only because um, in many of the company uh, many of the countries not company uh, 3 by 4th of the uh, whole geographical uh, countries whatever it is having using the common language as the english so that's why because what is uh, the reason for that english means uh, in our previous ancient days uh, the time britishers has ruled uh, many countries in the world like india like that side so that will be the language of the future english will be the language of the future you need to mention this type of points in the summary you need to highlight that points in the while writing the answer in the booklet and in ecology lesson it was written by ak ramanujan you should mention about the ak ramanujan and in that uh, what you will be the main keywords three red chumpak trees will be there and uh, her mother will get a uh, uh, migration uh, that time no so this type of things you need to mention in the summaries and you need to highlight that summaries in the answer booklet okay and coming back to the vocabulary indianism you are having which will comp compulsory will come in part a indianism will come in part a and framing questions framing question is a grammar topic which will come in part a so indianism Uh, and uh, framing questions ecology summary what's the language of the future this is the four thing you need to learn in unit number 1 so ecology summary will get for 12 marks in part b what's the language of the future will get a question from uh, part b in uh, from unit number 1 okay so this is a two summaries fixed okay so in in ecology they will ask two questions ma you need to attempt any one question 9a and 9b will be asked for uh, ecology and 10a at 10b will asked in what's the language of the future so two questions two so two summaries is over and vocabulary and grammar will come in part a so coming back to the part b so prose is having like poem is having a girl lesson and the prose is having a, that uh, gender equality is your issue too gender equality is your issue too is a main and important lesson and the scoring lesson where you can write all the uh, all the answer and the summary by your own so men and women are equal so that type of thing about that men and women equality what emma watson said in her speech so that you need to mention and they will have some diagram so gender equality diagram if you search in google also you will get that diagram so try to draw that diagram in the summary where you can easily score good marks and impressive uh, thing okay and girl lesson is written by jamika kinkart so about that a lesson is also an easy lesson about the girl what are the struggles and hurdles a girl face this type of things you need to write minimum three sides maximum four sides that's it no need to uh, write the uh, Five to six pages, five to six uh, sites. Okay, so minimum three sites you need to attempt, and maximum four sites. More than four, you need to not attempt any summaries. Okay, and vocabulary you are having analogy and odd one out. This is a general vocabulary where you can easily score good marks. What is the meaning odd one out, which is odd. sounding like odd one like you, you need to think and the another thing is grammar you are having verbs grammar verbs and the odd one out and analogy will come in part a pakka bit okay so first bit is will come from indianism second bit will in part b in part a sorry in part a first bit is from indianism second bit is from framing questions third bit is from analogy and odd one out and the fourth one is a uh, verbs okay so this is the four bits which you can easily get in part a which consists of four marks each bit okay and the unit number 3 you are having a review writing so here in this review writing 
film review is there book review is there so choose any one thing so in that uh, what will be the easy thing i will discuss now in this video so in unit number 3 vocabulary you are having technical vocabulary this is also an easy grammar topic textbook grammar only you need to learn no need to learn any additional uh, questions which you are having in your uh, publications or any other materials no need to learn textbook grammar from textbook grammar only it will have uh, they will ask the questions in the question paper okay and the grammar topics is uh, you are having conditionals so this is the fifth and sixth bit in part a so first bit is indianism second bit is framing questions third bit is analogy and odd one out fourth bit is verbs fifth bit is technical vocabulary and the sixth bit is conditionals so in out of eight bits six bits will be this only and the seventh and eighth question will be a general bits like that so in part a you need to attempt five bits five questions out of eight questions each carries four marks so five into four twenty marks part a consisting of so in part b first question is from ecology second question is from what's language of the future third question is from girl and the fourth question is from gender equality is your issue too. and the fifth question in part b comes from film review is one question you will have 13 a will from come from film review and 13 b will come from book review now we will discuss about the what are the questions you need to learn in film review what are the questions you need to learn in book review like this we need to discuss now okay now we will discuss about that okay so students in film review i will give three questions in book review also i will give three questions uh, if you are preparing film review try to learn that three questions definitely one question will get repeated if you are learning a book review try to uh, learn that three questions which i will give for book review for film review process of writing a film review this is the first and important question from film review describe the process of writing a film review like this type of question they will ask and the second question is structure of film review this is an also an important question from film review so for 12 marks it is coming so try to write the three sides minimum structure of film review what you will have you need to keep the title first title or headline you need to keep and subheading uh, like if you are uh, attempt uh, if you are giving a film review like the for example bahubali bahubali is the title and the subtitle is uh, the beginning so like this you need to give okay bahubali is the title and the, the beginning is the subtitle and the third point is introduction where you need to give the introduction about the film what that the film who is acting in that film who is casting like a hero who is casting like a heroine who is the director of that uh, film like this you need to mention in the third paragraph that is introduction and the fourth paragraph is analysis how you felt about that uh, movie what are the loopholes you have find in that movie so like this you need to attempt the fourth paragraph and the fifth one is conclusion you need to conclude the film whether it is a, a good film or bad film like time based feeling like this you need to attend it so this is the structure of the film review mention this five side headings and try to write that uh, matter in it by your own and the third important question is um, write a review on a film which you have already enjoyed by watching that film you have already watched the film you need to write a film review this is an example where you can easily adopt a film so my suggestion to you all many of the students are saying that the uh, comedy films and the love story films don't use that type of uh, films uh, in the writing the answer try to write uh, bahubali and uh, mahanati maya bazaar and um, Sita Ramam, this type of films you need to mention where you, they can easily impress by your film. The content is very much uh, impressive and it will be a uh, like unique thing. Okay, so try to write this type of films. Okay, so this is the main thing I need to tell. So this is the three questions uh, describe the process of the film review, structure of the film review, example film review by your own. Okay, so this is the three questions from film review and from the book review, differences between book review and uh, book report. This is also an important question. Process of writing a book review. After reading the book, what is the process of writing a book review? That is an important second question you are having. And um, third question is structure of book review structure and review of a book. Structure of book review is the third question and the fourth is the uh, like a uh, uh, book review is a critical and typical to understand ma and the fourth question what they will ask means write a review on a book which you have recently read about that this type of questions they will ask i know that we are not uh, that much aware about the reading the books so try to go with the film review only in that i have given only three questions so try to write that uh, three questions where one question will definitely come for 12 marks okay so in part b five questions i have discussed and in part a i have discussed the summaries also so try to write that uh, summaries now we will discuss about the grammar topics ma. so indianism in indianism what are the things you are having like um, 
Indian med English medicine we call it as a allopathy. So this type of words you need to identify it. Okay. So and uh, cut the call means uh, hang up abruptly. Okay. This means suddenly abrupting the call. And uh, non veg means food containing meat. Okay. So this type of things you need to uh, think. Okay. So they will give one uh, side headings and uh, match the following type they will ask. I means for example, batchmate is also called as a classmate. And um, Whitish is called as light skin color and uh, level best is the best mug up means memorize this type of things you are having in your textbook try to write and learn from the textbook only so and also they will give the answers you need to frame the question for example he is my friend the question will be who is he he is my friend and uh, for example it's an audio book what is it it's an audio book so this type of answers they will give you need to frame the questions okay so, so this is about the unit one grammar which you will ask in part a definite bits okay so don't try to neglect and only textbook grammar is important no need to learn any other grammars ma so textbook only textbook grammar and the odd one out is very 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 easy for example uh like um uh, they have given rose flower hammer hammer uh, rose is a flower hammer is a for example options they have given tool instrument car and song so hammer is a tool tool right so example knife knife for options they have given erase cut clean cook knife is used to cut the vegetables or cut the something or the other so like this you need to prepare it okay so for example another thing is hungry is eat tired is play run limp and rest tired is rest so this is the things you need to observe and you need to circle that uh, odd one okay so this is about the thing in the vocabulary in unit number two and the grammar is works verbs okay so talk means talked sleep means sleep slept stop means stopped marry means married so this type of verbs you have already discussed in your intermediate i think so so this is about the things ma no need to worry about the thing and in unit number three what are the grammars you are having one minute conditionals you are having right so conditionals means uh, for example how they will give means i dash early if you want i come early if you want they will give in brackets you need to identify that conditional i came early i come early i uh, like that type of things you need to understand and you need to give the answers okay uh, for example they will give you smoke you get cancer means what you need to do if you smoke you will get cancer we need to um, add the words okay you smoke you get cancer like this they have question given if you smoke means you will get a cancer so that type of answers you need to attempt in part a so i hope that grammar is clear summary is here clear and the uh, main thing is film review and book review also is clear so this is about the preparation no need to worry about anything so all the best for your examinations for tomorrow so just be calm and write everything and definitely you can score a plus or o grade okay so follow my tips for the more uh, understanding the concept in a better way so i hope that you have already finished the preparation and uh, just revise the uh, things okay no need to just just mug up all the things which you have already learned okay so don't hesitate and don't get tensed about the examinations to many of the students are getting tense right so don't do all that things so okay so this is all about the video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups this video will be useful for them also okay see you all next video bye bye and all the very best for your examination do comment me in the comment section how you wrote about the tomorrow's examination how was the question paper and everything you please mention me in the comment section definitely i will read and i will get happy for you all okay so once again all the very best and thank you so much